Welcome to this course overview of my PHP for Beginners course. And in this video, I want to go through the course and show you exactly what we will be covering throughout this course. In section one of this course, we are going to learn about the fundamentals of PHP. So we're going to install a code editor. I will show you how you could use PHP code in HTML, how you could print something out on the screen, and how you could add comments and, well, how you could use a line break. In section two of this course, we will actually start working on the basics of PHP. We're going to work with variables, how you could print out the variables, what the different data types are in PHP. And since an array is a more complex data type, I want to focus on, well, the regular arrays, an associative array, and multidimensional arrays. In section three, we will focus on all the different operators that we have. And these are basically symbols used to make code perform specific actions. So we have arithmetic operators, we have assignment operators, we have comparison operators, we have logical operators, and we have increment and decrement operators. And the operators that we will learn in, well, section three, will be used a lot in section four of this course, where you will be learning control structures. And the control structure can be grouped into two categories, sequential and decision. And sequential involves executing all the code in the order in which they have been written. And decision involves making a choice given a number of options. And this will be done with while loops, do while loops, for loops, and for each loops. And from section five, we will be focusing on probably the most important topic of PHP, and that's functions. A function is a self-contained block of code that performs a specific task. And we will have functions with arguments and params, and we also are going to learn how we can separate our document in order to prevent repetition. PHP has two types of functions, user-defined functions and built-in functions. And in section six, I want to take a good look at built-in functions. And these are functions that already exist in PHP installation. And this is what makes PHP a productive scripting language. There are multiple types of built-in functions, but I want to focus on math built-in functions, string, array, date and time, and random number functions. In section seven, we will be focusing on how to work with superglobals. And this is the point where you're going to work with information that the user has inputted inside input fields. And that's when a superglobal is, well, pretty useful because it stores and gets information from one page to another. I will also be creating a working context form and an upload system. And these are two pretty important episodes because, well, what we basically do right here is to combine everything that we've learned and create our first script. In section eight, I want to work with databases. And the database is basically a collection of interrelated data which helps in efficient retrieval, insertion, and deletion of data. And section nine is pretty much a follow-up of section eight, where we will connect to our data in our PHP code. We will print out database information in the browser, and we will be creating a login and register script by doing some error handlers. We will use prepared statements to prevent SQL injection, and we will be hashing passwords. Most of the chapters will also have exercises, and I recommend you to make them because they will test your PHP skills. I will also solve the exercises at the end of every section. Hopefully this overview will help you to understand what we'll be doing the rest of you will help you to understand what we'll be doing the rest of this course. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.